This is the solution to quiz 11. <clears throat> so the first exercise is a double integral over a rectangle. It's a rectangle because the x bounds are constant and the y bounds are constant. So if we were to sketch what this looks like, region in the xy plane, then that's from x is 1 to 4, and from y is 1 to 2. So this region is R. So since we are doing a double integral over a rectangle, we can use Fubini in, to convert it to an iterated integral in either order. So for lack of <coughs> uh, a better thing to do, I'll make the x's on the outside. So from x is 1 to x is 4, from y is 1 to y is 2, x plus 2y dy dx. So we'll do the inside integral first. the outside integral is unchanged. We, we can use the fundamental theorem. So x plus 2y, that is xy plus y squared, evaluated from y is 1 to y is 2. So at y is 2, that'd be 2x plus 4 minus, at y is 1, that would be x uh, plus 1. And <clears throat> now that we have evaluated the y integral, notice that the expression no longer depends on y. So then I can drop the x equal notation because now there's only x's and there's no chance of being confused anymore. So the expression to integrate is then 2x minus 1, uh, 1x is just 1x and then 4 minus 1 is 3. So we can use the fundamental theorem on that. So that's x squared over 2 plus 3x evaluated from 1 to 4. So evaluated at 4 that would be 16 over 2 is 8 plus 3 times 4 is 12 minus half plus 3. So that's 20 minus 3.5 so that's 16.5. The second question is an iterated integral. So the outside integral is x, so that'd be from x is 0 to x is 2. And then the inside integral is with, respe with respect to y, so I'll go ahead and use the fundamental theorem there. Uh, that would be x squared y plus y cubed over 3 
evaluated from y is x to y is 2x dx. So that's integral from x is 0 to x is 2. And then plugging in y is 2x, that would be x squared times 2x plus 2x cubed over 3 <coughs> minus x squared times x plus x cubed over 3. So notice at this position we've integrated the y's away and only x's remain. So there's a lot of algebraic simplification that needs to occur. I'll drop the x equal x equal notation because there's only x's now. So let's think about this. So this is x cubed, this is 2x cubed uh, minus 1x cubed. So combining <coughs> Combining these two, just get x cubed. Okay, this is eight x cubed over three, and this is one x cubed over three. So 8x cubed over 3 minus 1x cubed over 3 <coughs> is 7x cubed over 3. So that's combining this one and this one. and then combining these together. This is 7x cubed over 3 and 3x cubed over 3. So there's 3 here and 7 here, so that's 10. So that is integral 0 to 2, 10 over 3, x cubed dx. So then now we can just use the fundamental theorem uh, with the power rule. So that would be 10 over 3, x to 4 over 4, from 0 to 2. <coughs> so these constants simplify a little bit. So canceling a 2 here, that would be 5 uh, over 6. And then evaluating the x to the <coughs> 4 from 0 to 2. That would be 16 minus 0. <clears throat> so canceling a 2 here, that would be a 3 in the denominator and an 8 here. 5 times 8 is 40 over 3. <clears throat> so the last exercise let f be that function and let r be the bounded region bounded by that. <coughs> so the first thing to do is to sketch r, the region. So sketching this one in red y is x, well that's this line. Sketching this one in green, that's the standard parabola. <coughs> so 
So there's only one region that is bounded. So, and that's this one right here. So we want to uh, figure out what are the limits of this region. Well, <coughs> the leftmost x value is x is 0, because that's the origin. And this is the rightmost x value, and that's x is 1. So if you're familiar enough with the plots of, of these, you can see that directly. But what if, what if you weren't that familiar? with it. The general strategy is that you say, okay, here's these intersections. We want to find the intersections. That is to say, we want to find the dots. So finding the intersections, finding intersections on a plot is always algebraically equivalent to solving an equation. So we want to set these red and green plots equal to each other. So we want to solve <coughs> x is x squared. So I'll move the x to the other side and get x squared minus x and then factor, and so we get x is 0 and x is 1, just like <coughs> this sketch told us. Okay, so if we pick an x value between x and 1, sort of a stereotypical one, so, so something like this, then moving in the upward direction in the positive y direction. Notice that to cross through the region you start at y is x squared. You start at the parabola and you proceed through the region and you stop at the red line. So it will be from y is x squared to y is x. <coughs> so the region R is algebraically described as 0 less or equal to x less or equal to 1 and x squared less or equal to y less or equal to x. So now that we have analyzed the region and figured out its algebraic description, we can use Fubini's theorem to convert this double integral into an iterated integral into this iterated integral. So from x is 0 to x is 1, from y is x squared to y is x of x plus y dy dx. <coughs> okay, so then now it's just like the previous two exercises that we have turned it into an iterated integral. So x is 0 to x is 1. Uh, we'll use the fundamental theorem on the, on the inner integral. So that would be xy plus y squared over 2 evaluated from x squared to x dx so that is from x is 0 to x is 1 <coughs> so at x that would be x squared <coughs> plus x squared over 2 <coughs> minus evaluated at x uh, at x squared that would be x cubed plus well x squared squared that's x to 4 so that's x to 4 over 
to dx. Notice that because we integrated with respect to y, this no longer depends on y. So I'll drop the x equal notation. So 0 to 1. I'll simplify this a little bit. So that would be <coughs> negative half x to 4 minus x to 3 and then plus 3 halves x to 2 dx. Okay, so now we can use the fundamental theorem on this. So this would be <coughs> negative 1 over, so x to 5 over 5, that would be negative 1 tenth x to 5 minus 1 fourth x to 4 plus 1 half x to 3 and then evaluated from 0 to 1. And those are the nicest two places to evaluate that expression. So that would be negative 1 tenth minus a fourth plus a half <coughs> uh, and then minus 0. So the common denominator of 10, uh, 4, and 2, the, the greatest common, uh, the least common multiple of 10, 4, and 2 is 20. <coughs> so that would be negative 2 over 20 minus 5 over 20 plus 10 over 20, and combining those all together, that'd be negative 7 plus 10, so that'd be 3 over 20. And that's the answer.